Being Blinded by the Light, there's also a nice song of that one, with bright sunshine, that can be a problem when driving a car, but moreover, a lot of people, including me, have problems with night vision when driving a car. And a special problem is it when you wear glasses, because then there's one more glass or window to create some reflections or some, you know, lighting effects, especially from traffic lights. Just imagine when driving at night, looking at those scenes here now, there are always so many lights from opposing traffic, traffic lights, lanterns, everything is reflecting. You know, your, your eyes are not really set up for that one. And when you wear your glasses then, you can have really strange reflections or those effects where it seems like there's a star, you know, every light is a single star and those, those, those flares are rushing all over you and that can be really dazzling. And I must really admit, I sometimes have a hard time when driving at night and when there are too much reflections and you know, harsh weather conditions. And I tried to find out, is there anything you can do about it? And I found that Zeiss, the lens manufacturer, they are offering something there. It's um, called Zeiss Drive Safe. And just a transparency hint for you. Maybe you've seen I've got some new glasses. I bought those spectacles. But Zeiss, as a transparency hint, they sponsored the lens for that one. However, I told them this is a true test, even if you sponsored the lens, because we want to be truthful with our community. So if that plays out and those special lenses, they do nothing, I also tell you that. So wait for this test here now. It will be very exciting because we have me, I'm short-sighted and um, this is just about the special coating those lenses have. They have a special coating for night vision to reduce those reflections. We're going to find out if this really works, if this is really helping car drivers at night then while we're wearing spectacles. But we not only have me with a short-sighted test or German, Deutsch would be kurzsichtig. We also have Holger, who is obviously a little bit older than me. And when you're above 40, above 50, you start to get, you know, this standard long sightiness. You, or weitsichtig, we call it in German. And that just comes with the age. And then if you maybe have a problem with seeing short and long, and need glasses for both, you have those bifocal glasses, or Gleitsicht, as you call it in German. And um, then you have, you know, special regions in the glasses for the for the long side and also for the short side and this is a special thing because the glasses are more expensive and this size drive safe they have also a special setup for this bifocal for car drivers because with the car drivers you have it here you have to watch all of the road but then you need to have something directly for the dashboard so it's kind of like two fixed ranges and those ranges you can really adjust in the lenses. I think it's a very interesting idea and we're going to find out how that really works. to our driving part of this review. Review? Uh, it's not a car review this time. However, if you want to see the review in the car I'm driving here, it's also on uh, the Audi S3 sedan. And you can also see that video in the video description. It's linked right there. We want to cruise around in the city right now and first of all, test my old glasses. So I have a reference point and I have another pair of old glasses and then Really, the new ones, and I want to test different situations. And uh, you know, I want to take two old glasses because you know, then it's not by coincidence that maybe just one of the old glasses has you know too much scratches on or something like that. Then I can really have good reference to the very new glasses to this special coating against reflection. So, what do I see here at night? Traffic lights, of course now lights from opposing traffic, especially a bus, and also the red lights, the, the tail lights of the cars in front of me. And indeed, that's the same old problem I have, you know, getting, getting used to, that every 
every light, especially from the lanterns there and also from the opposing traffic, has this kind of stellar effect, you know. Every single light looks like a little star which coming lights to all of the sides. And that is really a little bit annoying and that also can create some kind of unsafe feeling when, when driving a car. And then you're not that concentrated. And yeah, also see when, when the traffic lights jump on, well, it depends on if it's an LED traffic light or you know, some kind of classic traffic light. That is also some kind of, of a difference. But I'm, you know, kind of in a in a world of reflections, and yeah, I'm really really annoyed by that. But sometimes you you, you just try to adapt to the situations and just think, okay, it's it's not possible otherwise. So that's the oldest set of glasses, and really, you know, very bad result. At day you don't see much difference, but at night it's really different. So let's now test the other ones. The other one, the old pair of. So, yeah, I think they're a little bit better because the glasses are a little bit newer, so that also makes a difference. But then again, I think especially the green lights, they even tend to have more of that stellar effect. And if you're really paying attention to that, if you concentrate on those lightning effects, then you really realize how bad it really is. I'm, before, you know, I just thought, okay, that's normal and um, that's, that's just the way it is and so I, so I kept it that way. Now, of course, it's always important to clean your glass, but don't use the, like those acid fluids because that destroys the normal coating of the glasses. Just use um, a microfiber to clean the glasses. That's one very important thing. And of course, your windscreen has to be cleaned um, always. That is another important thing. So, but I see now that both of the old glasses create those stellar effects, especially from opposing traffic. Here, I see this the new Audi model as well, standing in the opposed directions. Because one very big problem is, you know, those very old headlights. They're not that powerful, but the new ones, you know, LED, uh, bike, xenon lights. Those ones are very powerful and they can be even more blinding. Then think about the SUVs driving on the road, sitting higher, also the headlights sit higher. And you know, I think a very new SUV with LED or Xenon lights, those ones are probably the most dazzling ones if you think about which one could be, you know, in opposing traffic. Okay, and then let's try the all new glasses now with a special coating on the lens. So of course you have to get used to the to the normal glass from your eyes, just because every every lens has a little bit of a different shape, a little, little bit of different angle. But what I realized immediately is that those stellar effects are really reduced critically. And um, well, I, at first I thought, okay, surely good, very high quality lenses. Um, I think I also had, uh, also in one of the old glasses, there were also size lenses in it, I think, because they were normal when you, when you go to, um, uh, when you go to a shop, you know, selling glasses, you usually get those offered as well here in Germany. Um, but the difference is really, you know, it's really very strong. I didn't expect that really. And um, the funny thing is, the, the biggest effect is if you look from below to above to, to, to a street lantern or something like that, then it's really, I just look into the lantern, okay, it's blinding because I look directly into it, but there's no stellar effect at all. And also when I'm looking at the, the traffic light now, you know, there's, there are no artifacts like I had with the other glasses and um, that is really astonishing because, um, you know, the, the lens itself from, from size, they are expensive. Yes, definitely, they're a premium product, but this, this coating is not the real, very expensive part because the coating itself, it's 35 euros per glass, so if you count it for, you know, for the whole set of spectacles, it's 70 euros for the whole coating. And so that's, that not, that's not the biggest difference, you know, the, if you, you, 
you buy a very expensive set of spectacles from the frame and then also some kind of premium lens, you can land up about 700 to 1000 euros. That's expensive, definitely, yes. But then the coating doesn't make a real difference. So it's, um, it's more the question if you, you know, buy a premium lens overall and um, this coating, yeah, I think I can really recommend it. I didn't expect um, such a result. And, um, well, in normal everyday driving a day, it doesn't make such a difference. But here at night, it, it really does. And, um, well, is there also some disadvantage? Um, yeah, well, at, at day, those those lenses have um, some kind of a little bit of a darkening effect that means but, but you'd only realize if you look against a white wall then if you just compare it then here it doesn't make any difference you don't see it at night but at day if you look at against a bright wall the white seems a little bit darker a little bit more yellow stylish but it's just when you're really looking at some plain white object and um, then the, the basic reflection, for example, when you got some light from, you know, from the side behind you, every set of glasses, even if you have an anti-reflection coating, does have some kind of reflection. And my other glasses have this reflection in, in green tones. This one here rather has a blue tone. So I have to get used to it, um, to that as well. Um, but other than that, kind of, normal set of glasses and you just feel the difference really when riding here at night and it will especially play effect when the weather is even worse maybe with rain snow or something like that also Holger will join us because he will then test his bifocal glasses and it will also explain what that means especially for um, some of our viewers who already have this problem with you know being short and long-sighted at the same time and that can be, of course, even more critical because... So now Holger is taking over. How are you feeling? Oh, fine. I'm driving a Lexus RCF in the evening with my new glasses. In the daylight, I don't need glasses so much. I don't have any problems with traffic signs or the traffic but in the evening or in the night I got a lot of problems especially uh, I could not read the instruments but I could still the road but there's a problem with the lights of uh, other cars especially the scene lights or the LED lights and with the new glasses, I have n no problem with the lights of other cars or with the lights of a, uh, with traffic lights. For me, it's a, a new kind of driving in the evening. The greatest advantage for me is to see clear in the distance to, to other cars and to long distance on the road and I see clear the short distance to the instruments. I see audio, climate, navigation, telephone, a lot of infos I haven't seen with my old glasses. So my conclusion here for those glasses and the vision at night at first, well, we didn't expect too much because, you know, in the past I had quite expensive glasses and I also sometimes went for cheaper ones and, you know, also the cheap glasses, they have evolved quite a lot. But here was this special coating that was really surprising to me and I now really feel safer when driving at night. With Holger, it was a special case because um, he had this, you know, problem with the vision you know, for, for both lengths. And that is solved now as well. And so overall, it's, it was really paying off for us because we have now a better vision at night and it's really safer. Of course, yeah, if you, you know, cannot afford to spend a lot of money on glasses, um, usually for the most using, um, also cheap glasses will do nowadays. 
But I mean, if you go for some premium glasses anyway and um, want to, you know, spend some more money on it, then the coating doesn't make the real difference price-wise, but it makes a real difference when driving. And so I can just recommend to go for it. I hope you liked this insight here and I hope we'll also see you at the next special Autogefühl episode. Thanks for watching, guys.